This may be the safest place in Mogadishu, but it's also the most at risk. Villa Somalia is the home of the country's transition government, and Islamist militants have made it the target of repeated attacks. The entire district's under the protection of peacekeepers sent in by the African Union. They're tasked with protecting the Somali president. His office is the only place in the capital he can be sure of his safety. And he lays the blame squarely on neighboring Eritrea. We know most of the militia's weapons come from Eritrea. These groups don't even bother hiding their affiliation with Al-Qaeda in Eritrea. Our intelligence has confirmed the presence of foreign combatants. They want to destabilize Somalia further to give them a base to attack the rest of the world. The president was once one of the leaders of the former Islamic courts that laid down the law in the country. Now he's become the target of radical Islamists. I feel safe and secure. It's only Al-Qaeda propaganda that says I'm in danger. I'm not afraid. The siege here is set to continue. Eight Somalis were killed here on Tuesday when a mortar exploded just outside the presidential palace's grounds.